Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to go Snake. Snake does really well versus heavies. Uh, and yep, okay, so we're seeing the Snake. But yeah. I, didn't Leon beat Salem Snake last time? I'm not too sure. I can't remember off the top of my head when the last two, like the last time these guys played. But all I know is Snake does really well. That doesn't mean Leon can win, of course. Oh, no, no, no. no. Uh, he's definitely going to be doable. Leon, the best Bowser, I want to say, by far. <laughs> I can't think of a better one. But, okay, good back air, directional air dodging right back to the stage. And now so here good. come the traps from MVG Salem. Oh, that side B should do the trick here. Wow, oh, no, 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 Salem's still alive, man. This that's, snake is heavy. That's right. Don't forget about all the weights. And, you know, those grenades, they, they add on a little bit of extra weight there. Ooh, oh, man, that was a nair and a grenade. Leon, just like that, life flashed right before his eyes. The bazooka almost came down on him. And I think, like, Leon even slowed down the match a little bit just to avoid the S-Mash from Salem. Well, okay, just call this man the demolition man because these guys explosions all over Leon. I like the up and diagonal uh, directional air dodge there. Most, uh, a lesser snake definitely would have just air dodged left. Leon would have been ready for that. And can you get past the Nikita? Oh, wow. he tried to drop the heel on him. But Man. the good match from Leon is going to allow Leon to get back center stage. And now we have Salem trapped at the ledge. Okay, yep, not going to be able to catch that Ooh. C4, but that should be a stock. And now, especially with the rage, especially at that percent, definitely going to be a stock wipe there. And I like Leon's patient. Caught the spot dodge. Nikita comes up and around. Can he avoid the second one? No, he can't. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the downside of being a big boy. You got really big hitbox, and it's kind of hard to avoid, especially with the recovery that, that Bowser has. Yeah, exactly. Like, Bowser is quick, but like you said, just having that humongous hurt box, right? It it can be really hard to dodge certain moves, but here's the grab. Leon going to get something started to up air. No, the Nair, wow. Twirling all over him for that big damage. Not only did it twirl all over Salem, put a good amount of damage, but it actually just popped up Salem a little bit, which allowed Le Leon Woo! to reset. What was that back air? Gee, man, damn my. Oh! I think he hit the Cypher and that yes. extended it. Yes, and right there, Salem going for the Cypher mix-up, right? But Leon's forward tilt did not care. Went right through the Cypher, made the hitbox lag right by the ledge where he needed it, and right now, Leon is up a stock. Yeah. I'm not sure that if, uh, Salem is actually going to bring out Hero, but I think if we see Salem drop game one to Leon, we might see the Hero. I, I think we, I think we might. Because the, the, in my opinion, his Hero is playing really, really well right now. Oh, I saw sure. the uh, previous match versus Best Nest. He played phenomenal. So I mean, you know, some some days, you know, some of your other characters are just playing better than some of your other characters. Very, very true, sometimes. especially when you're a character or you're a player that has a lot of specialties. Oh yeah, Salem plays so many different characters. Definitely a uh, very, very talented at this game. But Leon coming in and. 49% already and counting the pile driver. Oh man, with the forward air, Salem off stage, and this is not where you want to be a snake. Oh, oh, okay, so just misspacing that back air, but now we're going to get the command grab, land center stage, and put Salem back in the sky, covering his recovery with a bunch of explosions. And now let's go back to the grenade game. And finally, Salem finds his way out of the mix, man, because he was in there for quite some time, took 108 damage, but right now, laying the heat on to Leon. Oh, okay, just. Barely avoiding that S smash at the again at the ledge. Yeah, and now we're up shop. C4 is down. A little bit of, you know, a little bit of hitting your own Whoa. action. Whoa! He he doesn't have cipher. Yeah, you, yeah. you air dodge the wrong way. What? Salem panicked in that situation because he saw the up and maybe just like I don't know, maybe some knee jerk reaction or something. Maybe a little bit of nerves. But Salem, honestly, with, I think he was afraid of his own explosion. Yeah, it might have been a higher percent. He was already really high up in the air. Yeah. If Leon hit the grenade and it hit Salem, that might have been enough to just take Salem off the top. So yeah, directional air dodging in the wrong direction. It's kind of a bad look for Salem, and it's going to cost him game one. But now, we're not going to see a character switch. You know, and this is this is like that awkward situation where like you might want to switch, but you're like, man, I had that game. Though. Yeah. It's like you know what I mean? Like you, he actually, I, I wouldn't say he had it, but it definitely could have kept going. It definitely could have gone Salem's direction. Salem is about these forward smashes. I have not seen Snake uh, like a particular Snake like that about it. But maybe he's just very confident with the two frame onto the Bowser recovery. <laughs> well, he must have uh, he must have some knowledge of how that that S smash can two frame Bowser. Maybe just a little bit easier because he just continues to run for it. But doing a couple of dash attacks Ooh. in Leon's face and not getting a command grab. Leon answering right back. And that's uh, one of, definitely one of Bowser's stronger moves in his toolkit is that side B command grab. It comes out frame six. And let me tell you, uh, for a command grab, that is very quick. 
And for the amount of damage it does and the kill power it has packing, that is uh, probably one of the best command grabs, if not the best command grab in the game. I just love the direction that Salem is taking with this game. He's consistently pulling out the grenades, which we would normally see from like any Snake player. But right. he's always having his back just in case uh, Leon gets a little bit, you know, a little bit froggy and he wants to jump at Salem. Oh, wow, that was so smart from Salem. He disengaged the Cypher as soon as possible and then fast fall down. Really threw Leon off the tempo there and was able to get back on stage. And it's such a big deal if you're able to get out of those situations as Snake because that's his biggest weakness. But not going to be able to get out of that side. No, scooped him right up and just landed right on that platform. That body slam does so much damage and puts Leon in a great position. And now on the ledge, though, gets behind him. Okay, back row. No up tilt punish, but... I mean, oh, Nikita off stage. I guess that's pretty much a stock, right? I mean, Nick, Salem Nikita game has been pretty good this set. Oh yeah, for sure. Hey, Leon, gonna get some damage. Not. Oh wow, the oh, that's patient. gonna explode too. Woo! And look at that. Was able to squeeze a back air as well. Yeah, you know that was planned because just the uh, reaction time from Leon was on point. There was no hesitation. No, like, oh, I think I could do this. He immediately had that input buffered. Oh yeah, for sure. And now Salem, still, I mean, still pretty close, but now getting the best of the damage wise. And oh, a cipher. Okay, interesting. Uh, <laughs> maybe expecting a, the jump uh, option from Leon at the ledge, but okay, wow, okay. He, ex he exploded the Nikita right on the ledge too, so the explosion could just take him out there. Mm -hmm. He actually didn't hit him with the Nikita. That was so smart coming out from Salem. The up, be off the top, not gonna connect, but. Not really getting punished for it, so. That's right. Unfortunately for Sam, you know, he just inputted that back air a little bit too late. And now the command grab coming in for Leon once again. We're recovering high and covering his, yep. his recovery with those grenades. Yeah, and Salem making those situations less of a problem when he's coming in with the grenade. Throw a grenade and then up B or jump throw a grenade. And it just really covers his landings a little bit better. But he's still alive. Snake is so heavy. That's Brawl Boys okay, right okay. there, and you know, for the third time, that should do it. All right, yeah. Yeah, I, I, you know what? Even with the stealing, man, I was just like, <laughs> you, you gotta go. <laughs> yeah, third time's the charm for sure. Oh, yeah. And honestly, 42% on Bowser, that's kind of nothing. You think Snake's heavy? <laughs> well, Bowser's the heaviest character in the entire game, so. That's true, but at the same time, you know that Salem's gonna be looking for these Nikitas. He's just really oh, trying to rack up man. damage and then put Leon off stage. Salem is making it rain right now. All kinds of explosives. And right now, Leon just having a, a lot of trouble getting something started here. Now he's on the ledge. Oh, and that's where you don't want to be, especially with that low percent snake. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's Yeah, and I love that Salem has the aggressive mix. He's setting up shop with all these setup tools, right? The grenades, the up smashes, but he's not afraid to come in with the upper. He's not afraid to come in with the dash attack. Very, very quick and meaty moves that will throw your opponent off guard while they're trying to come into your zone. And look at that, the aggression paid off. All those dash attacks, all those up the ears with the combination of the setup tools. Amazing play from Salem. He's able to snag that game number two. And think about the risk reward. Even if Leon is jumping away from you and you're trying to come up with an up air, what's Leon going to do that can really challenge you? And then what is the big punish going to be? Right, you're not right. going to lose your stock for really trying to commit to an up air when Leon's trying to retreat. Yeah, and the way, the way Salem commits too, he'll like dash attack while grabbing a grenade. So it's like, oh, you might trade with me on the punish. Or, <laughs> you know what I mean? He like positioned himself or picks up his certain setup tools to kind of lessen the punish and lessen that risk reward to make it more in his favor. And I'm just loving the gameplay right now. Okay, and just like that, you know, bringing out the grenade, making sure that Sam is a little bit on the receiving end of that trade. You know, he did take the brunt of that damage, but at the same time, keeping it, keeping this close. And yeah, that fire breath is a very strong tool for Bowser. It does so much damage. Ooh, oh, we destroyed it! And just like that, Leon not gonna let him set up all those things. He gets them off stage, and that is where Snake suffers. And you can actually, wow. Okay, okay so I think it was a grenade. Into the up smash guy. almost made it. Yeah. And just, you can hit the Cypher. You can hit Snake off the Cypher, but you can actually just hit the Cypher too. And he'll have to force into the C4 recovery, but Salem was too low at that point. So now Leon with a very huge lead. We'll see if we can get some damage though. Salem honestly not taking too much damage. Yeah, but he did get a grenade thrown right back in his face, getting one pump jab. He jabbed him once and just walked away. I mean, that's all you need, dude. The one Dang. pump, bam. <laughs> Here's Ledge Trap. Leon just waiting patiently. Really good stuff. Salem now forced to the center stage here. And I, I like the counter pick from Leon. Um, it can be a little troublesome once a setup character sets up shop in this middle area. But Smashville is 
the smallest stage of our legal stage list. So um, I, I feel like Leon can definitely force some more closer interactions. Yeah, and you know, that's kind of what I was thinking too, you know, picking like the small stage, make sure that Salem, well, if he does in fact want to play the retreating game, he's not going to have very far to retreat. He's really going to have to start committing to the air, in which case you, we've all seen how comfortable Leon is going down that deep. Oh, he's oh. going to interrupt him? Okay. Oh, the back air. Oh, he was, maybe if he just waited a little longer, but the up, he kind of like hit him. It was a really weird situation, but he's still off stage. He still has no double jump. Leon could close it out right here. Where's the air dodge? Oh, man. Pulls yeah. the trigger a little too early. A little bit too early. Going for an up tilt instead of like one of the maybe longer lasting up smash attacks. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there's the dash tag in Salem. It has almost his max tank of rage, but it's still not enough to kill Bowser at 100%. That's an interesting directional air dodge coming from Leon. He directional air dodge straight up, which just allowed Salem really to throw out another up tilt. Oh Put that grenade my. into almost just if he closing up that out, yeah. If he up aired though. <laughs> Like, wow, that could have definitely been a stock. Aggressive forward air trade situation. Oh, and there's the up air. Wow, and just like that, the second stock finally gets wiped. So many close interactions, and man, I can barely tell what's happening on the screens. He flies so many things going on. So many explosions, so many setups, but so unfortunate many SD. SD from Salem. You know what? It happens to the best of us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he was in a pretty bad spot, and I, I definitely see the air dodge. He wanted to grab the grenade with the air dodge. Really, really smart. Mm -hmm. But maybe overthinking that situation a little bit too much. Yo, IQ at 1,000, but only really moving at a 900. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, sometimes it, that, that'll be the, the best of you. You know what I mean? It'll, it'll get the best of you. Oh, whoa, trying to blow it up right in his face. Leon with the up throw punish into the fair. Really good position. Burns the double jump. Oh, up being so high. But what's the punish going to be? A down smash whoa. of the legend. Now we're setting up for Nikita. I'll be right through that. I actually like the down smash because it's set up for Nikita so well because of the angle of which the move sends him off stage. Mm -hmm. Okay, Z dropping. Oh, I think I think uh, Salem was trying to break the shield right there. Yeah, yeah, definitely could have been going for that. And there it is again, the Cypher into the early drop fastball. Salem gets back on the stage. The dash up tilt will take it. Now, Salem up 2-1 on Leon. That's such good movement coming from Salem. He was dancing in and out of Leon's face. And it was really difficult to tell. Salem retreating to try and get a setup, um, setting up these grenades, maybe the Nikita or the C4. But in fact, he just dashed right back into Leon, got the free up tilt. Yeah, and I mean, that up tilt is very generous in terms of the range, but still very well played from Salem. Hey, really man, you stuff. know, something's got to stay the same yeah, coming so, from Brawl. Coming from Brawl, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's definitely the classic if you're a Brawl player. Um, so this is going to be game number four. We're going to keep it on the same counter pick. Uh, definitely, it was so, so close. And I really like the stage. I think the stage definitely served its purpose for Leon. He got a lot of close interactions. But man, Salem playing so well in this opener. Yeah, but right now Salem, you know, just continuing his he got his setup and he was really like tacking on a lot of damage onto Leon. I mean, especially at the ledge setup, whenever it comes to Leon being on the ledge, that's when Salem's time really go in. Yeah, and Leon has so much like he's definitely a crowd favorite, you know, coming from Tri-State. Definitely one of the younger players as well on the come up with a very unconventional character. It really I, I just feel like he's really one of the few people doing it at this level with Bowser. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I can't disagree with you there, Korean. That Nikita's gonna land on the Leon, that's gonna take the first stock. What is the setup that Salem is trying to go for though? Oh, Oh, and oh, the platform, no punish from Salem, and look at that sneaking command grab. Isn't going to take in, not enough rage on Leon here, but the offstage, no, it takes two grenades and the Cypher and a dash attack. Man, <laughs> that's just how much damage you're going to take from all this. <laughs> well, at least it gave him enough rage to get out the, get the kill, right? Yeah, it was actually really smart from Leon because Salem had an, uh, oh. a precarious situation where uh, he had a grenade right next to him. He was waiting for the get-up option from right. Leon, but he did a neutral get-up to actually use the invulnerability and just escape the grenade. Okay. Like, I just feel like Salem is doing some kind of magic because all of a sudden Leon is at 155%. What happened, Z-Fly? Yo, call him the demolition man. <laughs> Jeez. He is just controlling his butt. A couple of straight hits, and Leon finds himself in a great situation. Oh, he's so close to hitting that directional air dodge with the back air. Yeah, okay, oh. and there's a down smash coming from Leon. We don't really see a lot of smash attacks coming from him. Yeah, and I mean, that's the first down smash we saw all set. And it's going to be the one that matters here for Leon. That <laughs> joint hits like hard, like just as hard as Wolf down smash. Man. That thing is really good. It's it's so powerful. Okay, well, Salem able to even up the stocks and now trying to set up shop around these corners oh. again. Oh, okay. Up B out of show, very smart. 
Oh, that's a pretty sticky situation for Salem. Tries to land with the back air. Honestly, though, like, even... Whoa! Whoa! It, it hit. landed! It hits. I mean, it didn't kill, but it hit. Sometimes it's about sending the message. You know, we finally got one to land. I can yeah. time these. Yeah. You better watch out. You know, if this... If uh, Salem isn't able to, just, you know, finish to clean up the game and clean up the set pretty soon, then we might have to see a little bit more of those S-Mashes. Whoa! Whoa! Reach in! Oh, there's the air dodge, but the frame trap coming out from Leon. Salem still in this disadvantaged state. There's a the fair. He's in a really bad spot. Directional air dodge. Yep, he's gonna catch it. Okay, we're recovering to go high. One. Recovering high. Where are you directional air dodge. Air dodge? Okay, no directional air dodge, but gets a command grab. That's gonna. Should, is that gonna be it? No, 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 no. Snake too heavy for that. Snake still in the game. The aggressive forward air. Wait, Leon waits for it. Gets the opportunity, and he's still alive. The wait, what? No, you gotta be plus 170 to take out Snake. Remember, oh, if you ain't going for that C4. If you're not going for the Cypher, then you got to work for oh, these kills. Oh, man, this is... Oh, this, the Cypher's so good. And Leon Shu was so low, but the forward air, he's going to swipe him to the right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and now we go 2-2. Two, two. We're going to a Game 5 Salem versus Leon. Oh, man, and I was... You know what? I, I feel like that last saga, particularly on the left side, Leon played phenomenal. And then... Right after that side B, I was like, oh, man, Salem's going to get another chance. You know what I mean? Because everyone thought he was dead off that um, second side B. Yeah, and for sure. And still lived at 170. And, man, you don't – giving people like Salem, like, another chance like that is so spooky. But really good stuff <laughs> from Leon. He, like, really – even though his shield was low, he just kept the ledge trap going and eventually got that forward air. Really solid stuff. Really closing it out. You know, a lesser player would have choked that situation. Mm -hmm. But, you know, not getting top layered. And now we have – MVG Salem's counter pick of Pokemon Stadium. We're gonna have a little bit of a wider stage here, and now access to uh, two well-placed platforms, which should help Salem set up his traps. Yeah, exactly. Really good up tilt from Leon, but the problem is with uh, some of Bowser's moves is they're so big that if they set up a grenade trade, uh, you're probably gonna you know hit the grenade because your moves are just so large. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, Snake can be really good against some of these heavies. Kita, okay, just gonna curve it around for the ledge trap. Leon with the patience, but the up smash connects, and Leon was holding in because he was air drifting to the right, and it's gonna take his stock. But a good air dash coming from Salem. You know, Leon was looking to take out the Cypher, really just put Salem in a bad situation, but the command grab lands, now putting Salem really high in the sky. Yep, can he catch the landings? We're going right, we're going left with all these beer reverses, and Salem with the tricky landings with all these special movements, and you being able to reverse so much of them just really makes it a big guessing game when you're juggling snakes. That's true. Leon was able to land a forward air onto Salem, but then got hit by a couple of grenades, and that just puts the deficit that much higher. Man, and the way Salem is coming onto stage with these grenades is so smart, and it's so precise as well. He's coming in, like, very accurately, and it's just, it's really, it, I, I'm just emphasizing it so much because Snake's biggest weakness is that situation. <laughs> so if you can get out of those situations like Salem has been, it's, you're just going to be so strong. But Leon, with the rage and the platform assist, will take that soft. Yeah, true. These grenades, you know, they're creeping up, and so are these up smashes. You see Salem creeping towards the corner, and look at that Whoa! shield pressure! Jeez, man, Leon almost getting popped right there. But gets back on the stage, uses the flame breath, but he's still taking an insane amount of damage. Already 174%. Oh, oh. But this is how it starts. Got a forward air, got a nair, 65%. Salem is approaching that percent. Yeah, exactly. And the thing about Bowser, he's the heaviest. So usually he's going to be that guy that's rocking the full tank of rage. Can you finish your plate, Salem? Because it can oh. be looking real scary real quick for you. That's right. 86 is going to use a C4. There's be no reverse. double jump. There's no nope. double jump. Where's the directional air dodge at? Oh, okay. He okay. was scared of the C4. That's why he did that directional air dodge. He didn't have the uh, double jump available. And now Salem is back on stage. This is really troublesome. 220% on Leon. Yeah, but saving his double jump, being able to avoid Salem's uh, back air. Oh, oh is and that 105%? No way. No, no, no. no way. Not from center stage. But Maybe with the platform. But, whoa, he jumped right past that up tilt. And, okay, well, you know what? I think right there, Leon was confident that he was going to do a defensive option. Mm -hmm. But Salem was like, you know what? I'm going down swinging. That's true, especially at 220%. You know, you're essentially at the percent where almost anything will take out Bowser. And now he's going to try and get Leon to that percent once again without really taking a big hit. Oh, that grenade going to save yeah. Salem. That's a very, very big deal. Even if that didn't get the kill, that's going to set up Leon for a really good position. And now Salem is racking it up. 
There's no double jump here. No, he the even used the wall to oh, Man. Look at all these traps. Where does he go? He's still getting pelted. Z5. It's he has nowhere to go, he, but he finally made it back center stage. And that's the important part. He lands a forward tilt. That's going to even up the stocks, put us in a game five situation. Last stock apiece. 105% already on Leon, but you still, we've seen the damage to, output. Fair to grab? Did I just see Bowser do fair to grab and get 50% off of it? Leon is riding this momentum. And the Salem! Salem is trying to retreat to the skies, but Leon is chasing him. Oh, okay, man. lands a back air. Landing a back air. This he is got so one. close. This is so close. The up no. Is that enough? No! What? He was able to take it. I did not think Bowser was going to die at that percent. And that was like the max range up tilt. Salem barely getting by. Wow, what a set. Game five, last stock, last hit. Leon almost making the comeback, man. Yo, Leon put on a great show for a stream. Yeah, Persona. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Leon you know, performed so well, so admirably against Salem. And he even had, you could tell Salem was shook at that last stock because he literally went from like zero to 70 in a matter of seconds. Yeah, he was trying to retreat Landing to this guy with a C4. Grab the Nair did 50 damage, and it was true. Like, yeah, he had nowhere to go. <laughs> Hold the R button. Nothing's like, going to happen. It's such a scary position to be against Bowser. Like, I for me, it's just so insane to see some, like, big, heavy character that can live to 200% <laughs> do, like, a 50% string off of a falling area. Like, that's insane to me. But, I mean, it was it was against Snake. He's a bigger character, right? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But still, uh, very, very exciting set. And Leon was just so close, so yeah. close to clutching it out on that last stock. But Salem just going to, you know, seal it out with the old faithful. What gets me is that Salem was able to land that up tilt because he up tilted Leon's shield and then he was still in range. Yeah. He like up tilted Leon's shield and then up tilted again like, <laughs> yeah, dog, I'm in there still. Yeah, I, I got these still, long legs. <laughs> did you shield one of my up tilts? Well... Sorry, you still have to respect this move because <laughs> I could just do it again. And in fact, do it again. <laughs> and if, he did. If, even if he blocked, that would have been still safe. That might have shield poked if he blocked. I mean, that second up tilt might have shield poked him. I don't know. Uh, I would have to ask Leon if he was shielding or not. But it's just such a big move. Shield poke, catch jump. It could have caught a lot of things. Really good option select there from Salem. Just really covering multiple options in that situation. Mm. And, you know, Man, it's, it's just being poised and experienced will, you know, make it so even in those high pressure situations, you could be super, super nervous, but you're still able to pick those right options, pick those really, really good risk reward options. I mean, so good stuff to Leon. You know, he was able to get fourth here at Nightmare on Smashville, mm -hmm. but now it's time to find out who is going to be advancing to grand finals. Up next, we have losers finals: Salem versus Cosmos. Yeah. Now, Inkling versus Snake is known throughout the community to be one of, you know, not so great for Snake. Yeah. Not so great for Snake. Um, Inkling just has a million ways to get this guy off the Cypher, and I Inkling's offstage is just one of the best in the game. I, I, honestly, I wasn't sure if he would, in fact, be going to Snake game one, but he, you know, he locked it.